Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Karen's Kitchen on this gloomy Tuesday afternoon for us here in Oregon. Um, I know I've made lentil soup before. Hi, Arlene, the first one in here. But this is with green lentils, so this is going to be a little different. Hi, Alexis, good to see you. So you came on just at the right time. I haven't even put anything in the pot yet. Um, <laughs> good to see everybody coming in. And uh, I apologize, Alexis, for what John did, said yesterday, but as I told you, I, mess I told him it was inappropriate what he did. So we're going to get after him today if he comes in here. Oh, good, Arlene, good, good. Let me go ahead and share this out myself. And I'm going to ask for a share, which Alexis did, and I thank you for all those that are sharing it out. I do appreciate this very, very much. I'm going to go ahead and share the broadcast on Facebook and on Twitter. I do this on Facebook because i got friends on Facebook that don't have Periscope. And you can watch it from Facebook because I have done it before. But you have to have, oh, um, you almost have to watch it on your computer instead. Okay, there we go. Welcome to everybody that's come in. Oh, sorry to hear that, Alexis. Oh, too bad. Did you go to work at all today? Because I know you had that migraine this morning when I watched your replay. I said, oh, my goodness, poor lady. Anyway, I'm going to tell you what I'm putting in here. Now, this will be no sautéing at all. Um, and it's going to be in for 18 minutes, and then I quick release afterwards. So I'm going to tell you what I'm putting in here as I'm putting it in here. Oh, yes, I wish him the best. Okay, I'm going to put in, let me get my, here I have, I chopped everything up. I have two um, carrot. Celery stalks chopped up, one medium carrot, and one large onion, and three three garlic cloves, all all um, called car garlic cloves are minced. I chopped, uh, you know, I took care of everything with a food chopper, the Pampered Chef food chopper. I I, I uh, okay. Like I said, there won't be anything to do as far as sauteing in this. It just hi, good to see you, Natasha. Welcome. And let's see. And I've got a cup and a half, and there's the cup and a half of green lentils. And I think that this, you could probably use brown lentils, but the taste would be totally different than what it calls for. So I would suggest if you can find green lentils, look for them. Might be able to get them on Amazon. I got this at a store here in town that is Kroger's, um, so they sell it. Um, to, and I don't have any fresh thyme, so I'm going to have to go ahead and use uh, the thyme leaves. I don't... I don't uh, have, I, I saw the plants the other day and I just didn't buy any. So I'm just going to go ahead and put the fresh thyme in like this. So you do, you make do with what you have. And then, okay. And a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. I got everything out before I came in here so I wouldn't be, be struggling to look for the stuff. Now, and then, uh, well, it calls, calls for salt, and everybody knows I use sea salt, so I'm just going to put some in my hand and just put it in here. I don't, I don't know about kosher salt. I'm just going to, I don't want to put too much. There, that should be enough, because if you overdo it, then you taste nothing but salt. Okay, now, um, pepper, I don't use that either. Uh, four cups of low-sodium chicken or vegetable broth. I'm not sure if this is low-sodium or not, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in here. And this is room temperature, so it shouldn't take too long to come to pressure. We know there's four cups of there's four cups of broth in each one of these boxes. Now, don't think it would hurt to taste just a little bit of water to try to clean this out and get it out at the bottom. Because they stuck at the bottom and just throw it in here. Let me throw this away. All right. Now, I think I've got everything in here. Um, and there is spinach that goes in at the very, very end, so I'll, I'll get that measured out later. And then you put uh, Parmesan on top. Well, everybody knows I don't have real Parmesan. It have, have, have to be vegan. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to set the timer for 18 minutes. Custom, time, 18. Just want to make sure everything is flat. It looks like everything is. I'll make sure it's good and flat. If you want to have it good and flat. Okay, there we go. It's good and flat. So what's everybody's weather doing today? We're kind of on the cool side. We had rain earlier. Um, I hope that his, 
Baccalaureate service is not outside, Alexis. If it's real hot, I hope it's inside for you because uh, huh, I know what that's like. Of course, when I, um, now probably you're probably right. Well, I hope his his uh, commencement service is is uh, in his cold. <laughs> Somebody says it's cold. Oh, good, good. Well, then it wouldn't matter for rain, Dan Alexis. At least you guys won't get hot being outside. Oops, I forgot. I'm going to have to stop this a minute. i got to cancel this. I forgot to buy tomatoes. There's a, there's a, I just happened to look, and there's a can of tomatoes that's supposed to go in there, diced tomatoes. I missed those on the list. Huh? Good thing I happened to see that. I just looked, and I thought, well, i got a can of tomatoes sitting here that's supposed to go in there. Um, you know, that's one thing about this. You can, oh, Friday will be out. Oh, that's right. It's the baccalaureate today and then the commencement on Friday. That's right. Because we had the, when I went to high school, the same thing. I'm going to go in and sit out and put a little bit. So get everything out of here. That's right. I forgot about that. There we go. Now, now I can start this back up again. That's a mistake I made is starting it up too fast, but it hadn't come to pressure anyway, so it doesn't matter. Back down 18. So I forgot about the tomatoes. There we go. Um, hi, good to see you. Welcome. I was just uh, <laughs> trying to correct a mistake I made not putting my tomatoes in there. I saw them sitting on the counter that I forgot to put them in there. thought, well, that's not going to work. i got to have the tomatoes in there. Diced tomatoes. And these were organic, by the way. Um, so I thought I'd better get those in there. That's what it called for. Oh, this type of thing don't want to go on. Anyway, I know Alexa says they're hot. Is everybody else hot today? I know my daughter usually is hot. I'm surprised she's not in here, but she must be probably gone. Um, so we've been on the cool side with it raining and everything. I'm kind of glad it has been, though, because I don't like it real, real hot. I can't, like I told you before, I don't do well with the heat. It, it just affects me so bad. I'd rather it be, be cool like it is now, you know, because I know we've probably got hot days coming, you know. And I, I wish to, for Bryce everything, um, Alexis. I hope after school, after college, his college days, he gets a job for what he's gone to school for. Because you know that is so hard sometimes to get a job, um, especially if if you're you're competing with other people to get a job. Because I went to Trend College, which is a uh, technical college here in Oregon, and I went for uh, accounting and things like that. But I could never get a job because everybody else got them ahead of me. It's very very difficult, and I took nine months of that of technical college, and I had a three point eight three GPA. So why I didn't get it, I don't know. I mean, it wasn't easy. It was a, it was tough. But I, I wanted to do it to try to see if I could get a good paying job. But, you know, it's, I just hope that all the money you're spending and everything, he gets a good paying job out of it afterwards. Because it'll be so sad if he doesn't. You go through all that expense, paying that money out for him to get an education, to further his education. And then they don't want to hire him because they, you know, they figure he doesn't have enough experience or something. But you know what I always say? How are you going to get the experience if they don't let you, if they don't give you the experience? They want you to have the experience, but you got to get it hands on. You know, they have to be willing to train you. Um, some some jobs have on the OJT on the job training, and the ones that have OJT those are ideal because you can get a job through them. But if they don't, oh, it's hard. Uh, oh yeah, and that can really be expensive. <laughs> I know. A, it can really be expensive. Welcome to those coming in, and thank you for coming in. Um, college is not cheap, and I know that you're that you've been concerned about him getting getting it paid for, but I'm sure he will. Um, yeah, you're right. It does rack up. I mean, there's nothing to spend. Some of the colleges, hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand for three years of college, and I'm thinking, whoa, fifty thousand a year? What in the world? Where in the world are they coming up with that kind of money? I mean, paying for books, I realize, and stuff like that. But why is it so expensive? I don't understand it. Um, of course, it, I suppose uh, some of that comes for maybe staying in the dorm. Is he going to come home on the weekends, or is he going to stay in the dorm, or what? Because I know that some, some kids elect to stay there at school and not come home. I know if I'd have gone to college, I would have wanted to come home and not stay in the dorm. But I think you have that option either way. Um, depends, I suppose, on how far the how far it is from where you live as to whether you'd want to come home, you know, sleep in your own bed. <laughs> I can just imagine. Oh, my goodness. Well, I hope he get he does get a job from it because 
that that's going to be a trying time for him. Go through the school and, uh, Oh, yeah, I think you're right, Alexis. Five, yeah, five hour trip. Will he come home on the weekends maybe to visit? Um, at one time or another, if he has a little, um, like a little salt mini vacation, he'll probably come home then, I suppose. Um, hi, Cheryl. Good to see you. Welcome. Um, yeah, five hours is a little, uh, oh, no. Well, I know you're going to miss him, and I can see the tears in your eyes the other day, Alexis. You know, just thinking about the fact that he's going away to school and you're not going to see him. But he's not going to forget you, I'm sure. Hi, good to see you. Welcome. He'll keep in touch with you. He'll be able to call you. You'll be able to call him, see how he's doing, which is great. That's how nice phones are, that you can keep in touch with each other and not have to worry, you know. Um, hi, good to see you. Welcome. I've got my soup. It hasn't even come to pressure because I just got it going, so... But anyway, we've got a, we've got some cool weather today. It's not as warm as it as I thought it was going to get, but that won't be until later than week. But that's fine. Um, I'm kind of glad because, like I said, I don't do well in the heat. I don't do well in the heat at all. Um, oh boy! Oh man! Well, I bet you did. <laughs> I bet you did, Alexis. Oh my goodness! Wow! Shoo we well five hour trip one way that's a that's a, a long trip that would get very very tiresome you know of course I don't know if he'd drive or he'd take a bus or whatever but that'd be a very tiresome trip oh my goodness I know I couldn't do it I could not do it and wouldn't want to oh my goodness but um at least he found a college to go to he got a scholarship so that's a good thing um I'm glad I'm glad that you're you're okay, Alexis. I know those migraines can really be tough. My daughter suffers with migraines about every day. Um and they get and they get what yours gets. I think right up in her eye sockets is where hers get. And uh she has she has to take all kinds of stuff to try to get rid of them and they affect her a lot. Um only a partial scholarship. Well, you know that's better than no scholarship at all. Um it would be better if he got a full scholarship, but I guess if he can if he gets partial scholarship at least he's got something you know because it's going to be expensive oh yeah probably not until he starts school whether you know the amount and you know that's crazy you're not going to know the amount and you're sitting there wondering what is it going to cost i know you're probably racking your brain this is going to be expensive but there isn't much you can do about it college is that way very expensive but at least he's furthering himself i mean if he wanted to he could have just gone after high school just gone out and got a job and Instead, instead of uh, going to college, but I'm glad he wanted to better himself. Oh, uh, anxiety. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yep. If I were in your shoes, I would have the same thing. Alexis, wondering, because I know you're, you panic, wondering if you're going to have the money to be able to cover everything. And I know I've seen your periscopes. We've talked about that. Um, oh, you used to experience migraines. But not, oh, good, Cheryl. My daughter still gets them. She gets them really bad. Um, about every day she gets them. I don't get migraines. I don't really get headaches that often. But I know Alexis gets them for about three days in a row. And I was thought sure when I watched her her uh, replay this morning that it would be gone. But oh my goodness. Um, oh, I bet so. Debil oh, absolutely. My daughter gets them so bad. I don't know what it, what it does for you, Alexis. But with my daughter, um, she gets them so bad that it ends up making her fall asleep. She can't She can't stay awake. I don't know if that's what happens to you, but she sleeps a lot with her migraines. I don't know if it, if she wakes up um, day three. Well, you should get over it after today then. But it's got to be very hard. Come on Periscope, and you're suffering with that migraine so bad. But you did very well. I mean, I, I, I liked your uh, salad that I saw. Even though it was a hamburger, I thought it was still... Hi, Tammy, good to see you. I thought it looked really good. Oh, that was a real nice salad you had this morning. Um, no, it isn't good. And I am I'm feel bad when people have to suffer with migraines like that. You know, my daughter, who else, whoever has to suffer with them. It's no fun to have those silly migraines. Not at all. Because they're, they hurt. They, they hurt like something else. I know my daughter says they hurt her really bad. I don't know. She may have a migraine right now. She may be sleeping. I don't know. She was taking... She was taking my son-in-law around to, to find work, so maybe that's where she's at right now, out looking for a job since he lost his job. But that, which, which is a good thing. So, um, but anyway, we got cool weather today, and I'm kind of glad. 
Um, it rained earlier. It's not raining right now, but it's a little, it's a little cloudy, but at least it's pleasant. Um, oh, she just left your house, Tammy? Oh, I didn't know she was over there. Um, yeah, you're right. You're right, Alexis. I was just thinking of that. Oh, cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I know she, I, I, I thought she was going to talk to you, Tammy, but just going over there. So maybe that's why she hasn't come on here yet. She'll be coming on maybe in a little bit, but, uh, um, we got to pray for my, we got to pray for, for, uh, Tammy in here, Nanny. She's, oh, that's right. She did say you had some clothes for her. That's my, my daughter's sister-in-law. Um, yeah, I did yesterday, um, Alexis. I made a salad for lunch yesterday. I had bought some, um, and I saw that, that, um, the, the lettuce that you showed yesterday on your Periscope, I found that yesterday at Walmart. They do have it there. Although I didn't buy that. I bought um, leaf lettuce. I don't remember what it was. And then I it washed it and everything. And then I put it in the in my, uh, in my the stainless steel salad bowl or a stainless steel bowl and refrigerator. But I did have a salad yesterday. I took some of those leaves and put them in the, the uh, salad cutting bowl along with a part of a tomato, um, an avocado, a little bit of a cucumber, um, a pepper, and and then my my avocado mayo, and I had it yesterday for lunch. It was really good. Finished all the mayo up. There she is. There's my sweetie. Uh, so and I finished it all up. You didn't miss very much because it hasn't come. It hasn't come to uh, pressure yet. But you have to watch how I made it. But um, good to see you, sweetie. I hope you're you're okay. I know she said you just went over there to get her get some clothes. So. <laughs> Yeah, I did. I did. I did, Alexis. Yes, I just remembered. Uh, I remember what you said, and I almost stuck it in there without the without the uh, Scott towel. But I happen to remember. Um, I happen to remember what that on your Periscope what you said to do. So I hurried up and put the uh, put a uh, Scott towel on the bottom of it, and then I put the lettuce in, and then I put the lid on top. And uh, I think it's going to be okay. Um, I hope it's going to be okay anyway. Um, Good afternoon. Good to see you. Welcome. It's it's great to see everybody in here today. Uh, oh yeah, uh, if those are, of course everybody in here is following Alexis, but we all know that uh, there's uh, are, are there any parties going on now, Alexis? Because if there are, I want to promote them. If there's um, anyway, if you if you see something in the catalog you want, um, try to get it because uh, that would be awesome. Um, I know she's probably already getting stuff sent out from a... Well, hi, Richard. Good to see you. I've got it in my quick cooker right now. You'll get to see it when it comes out. You'll have to see how I made it. Good to see you. Did you have a nice Sabbath, Richard? Hi, <laughs> uh, good to see you. Welcome. In case everybody wonders, this is a... He's a seventh fellow Seventh-day Adventist, and, and he doesn't periscope, but he comes in a lot of periscopes that I that I go into. And he, I'm so thankful when you come into mine, Richard. But anyway... Um, I'm glad that I could come in here and, um, oh, absolutely, Richard. We have Brenda Walsh from 3ABN, uh, yeah, giving her testimony about being battered on, she didn't do it on Sabbath, but she did it on Sunday, how she was battered, and then she's been blessed by it. And those that were in my Periscope yesterday, I talked about it. Um, you have a big headache. Oh, my goodness. That's too, oh, that's, oh, that's horrible. Um. Oh, good. I'm glad. I'm real good. Um, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Oh, mystery show starting tomorrow with the new Disney Pixar tools. Oh, yes. If you haven't, if anybody hasn't seen those two Disney Pixar tools, go back and watch Alexis's replay. She talks about those. They are so cute. You know, there's there's new products coming out uh, June first in the catalog. So I imagine that a new catalog will be coming out then. And then I think September, some new ones come out again too. So people had wondered when I was going to host a show. And I probably will do it maybe in the fall after the new products come out. Um, but that's not a given, so don't hold me to it. But I'm thinking about maybe. Um, oh, good, Alexis. I'll watch your replay and I, and I will see what you had to say about it. But if you're not following Alexis, follow her and... Uh, Go into her profile and, and uh, go into the catalog and see if you want something from Pampered Chef. Um, I'm always finding something. I've 
I'll probably wait until the next show because there's something I, I saw today that I want to, to, to get and I didn't order it on, on uh, <laughs> Cheryl's show at all. Uh, oh, okay. Because uh, I wanted to get that popsicle maker because I saw, I saw on Pinterest a recipe for fudge sickles and I printed it out. I thought, boy, that'd be awesome to come in here and do fudge sickles. Uh, I don't, um, I'm in a, a Sabbath school class where my son is on the book Steps to Christ. So when that's our lesson. We go on this book Steps to Christ, and, and then after we get that and done, then we're going to do the Desire of Ages. So, um, yeah, I, I I thought that was cool when I saw that on there, Alexis. I saw their, and I printed it out, and I thought, boy, this could be awesome to make, but I can't make it until I get some popsicle makers or whatever. You know, I want to be able to get it for Pampered Chef, but if I can't get them now, I'd like to get them pretty soon. I'll just get them from Amazon, too. But I want to be able to make some those fudge sickles. They look awesome to make. Of course, I'd use my carob, but they look so good. With summer coming on, it's going to taste really, really good because I used to eat those kind of things all the time. And when you can make your own, you know what's in it. That's why I like to come in here and Alexis likes to come in here and make it yourself because you know what's in it. You're not... Uh, using all the chemicals that the companies put in their foods when they process them. And there are a lot of chemicals in them, you know, and they don't, don't tell you about those chemicals. If you don't look on the back of the, of the, uh, your ingredient list, you're not going to know what's in there. Um, you like the coffee ones? Oh, I don't, I don't know. I used to drink coffee, Alexis, but I don't know if I'd like the taste of that. Um, you got, oh, I know you do, Alex. I know you do, Early, and you've got the popsicle maker. I never thought about getting it until I saw that recipe on Pinterest. Um, oh, the, yes, I know you've got the Pampered Chef one. That's what I want to get, but I know that, that she's probably already submitted the orders for Cheryl's party, so I won't be able to, uh, or the party that just ended, so I won't be able to order it from there because I, I had paid my $40, and that was all I was going to do, but now I want the Popsicle Maker too. So, because I, was, that would make those, it'd make, I could make those fudge sickles. It would be awesome. Because, you know, a summer coming on. Um, did, how did they turn out? How did they turn out, uh, Erlene? Did they turn out okay? Because they look simple enough to make. I know they got sticks and everything with them. But that looks awesome, you know. You can't really make them without. Um, oh, next month. Okay, Alexis, next month. Um, I can hold off until then because it's not real hot right now anyway. Oh, good, good. But the fudge sickles, like I said, I make them with carob powder. But they look so good. And I want to make those. Come in here and make. You know, I'm always finding new recipes. Uh, finding things that I'm not sure what I'm going to make. And then I'll see something else. And I saw that fudge sickle recipe. And I thought, dang, I want to make that now. But I don't have the fudge sickle or popsicle maker to do it. And I wish I'd have bought it a long time ago from Pepper Chef. But I never thought I'd be doing them. But now that I found a recipe for the fudge sickles, I'll make them. I'll make those on here and, and have them during the summer. They'll be really good to eat, I know, and they'll stay nice. So, and if you haven't bought any Pampered Chef products, I suggest you try them because you've got good quality products. They are ideal. They, I mean, they, they stand behind everything that they have. And if you have anything that goes wrong with it, like Erlene, she had her quick cooker, her pot, she had gotten, somehow it got pitted at the bottom. She called Pampered Chef, and they told her to return the pot, and she, they sent her out a brand new pot. I've never heard of a stainless steel getting pitted at the bottom, but it did. But see, they stood behind it. They gave her a new pot, and now she can go back using her quick cooker again. I think I'd be lost without mine because I use it so much. And so, so far, so good, anyway. Um, oh, there, it just came to pressure. A lot of people, um, yeah, you know something? Once you start ordering Pampered Chef, you never go back to anything else. I'm always ordering something. I say, well, do I really need anything? And I'll start looking in the catalog. No, but then I come along and I find a recipe for fudge sickles. Darn, I wish I had that popsicle maker right now so I could make them. But, you know, such is life. I can get it. You know, eventually I'll get it. But I, I never thought I could. I would find a recipe for fudge sickles. Vegan fudge sickles. How about that, huh? Man, I thought, oh, that's awesome. And I use my carob powder to make them. I know they're going to be really good. And they look they look so so nice, too. Uh, a cold you know, hot days would be really um, good to eat. You know, ice cream, when, when it starts getting hot, it's going to be tasting real good. I don't need it right now because it's still on the cool side yet. But I will make it. But, um, 
Yeah, it is. I I love going on Pinterest. For some unknown reason, Pinterest um, has drawn me there. I, I seem like I go there more than anything because they have so much on Pinterest. I mean, it's unlimited what you can find. And just put in the category that you want, and you, you can find anything in there. I wasn't looking for an uh, ice cream recipe or fudge sickle. I even found a pineapple recipe that I want to do. I know Erlene posted one on my Facebook page, which I want to do that one too, but this one has got just three ingredients in it. Looks so good, and I printed that one out too. I have to get the pineapple chunks because I don't have them, but you make it in the Vitamix, and it's just enough for that one meal, so I want to make that too, but it's getting warm enough. For pretty soon, it's going to be getting warm enough. I'll be starting to make ice cream and eat the fudge sickles, you know, and I, I love I love the summer, but I don't love the heat. But you know something? That cools me right off. I'll eat that stuff in the summer, and it cools me right off. However, <laughs> I do get brain freeze once in a while because I have a tendency to eat it too fast, and then all of a sudden I'll get a brain freeze, and I say, oh, i got to slow down because it's just so good because I love eating ice cream, homemade ice cream. Um, oh, good to see you, too. Thank you for coming in. This hasn't, it just, now just come to pressure, Paul, and it's, it's going to be, uh, it's 18 minutes. It hasn't started the countdown yet, but it will in a little bit and just count, starts the countdown. Then I'll quick release it after the, after the, uh, it's done for 18 minutes. Um, but you make your own foods, you know exactly. And I see Darla Linda's in here. Good to see you, sis. Good to see you as well. Um, good to see some of my faithful viewers coming in here every day. I know I missed some viewers yesterday. Alexis wasn't in here, but she probably didn't get the notification right away. Um, good to see you. Welcome. And like I said, I do apologize to everybody in here for John Huffling for what he said yesterday. I did tell him that was inappropriate what he did. And we are, I'm going, if he comes in today, I'm going to give him a warning. If he says one thing about bugs, he's gone because I will not tolerate that. Um, he had said some, he had said a nasty thing about Alexis that was uncalled for and I called him down on it. And uh, hopefully, you know, he won't come back in here and say anything like that. I don't see him yet. I didn't even see him on Alexis's this morning either. But, you know, touch his life. But anyway, we don't need any drama in here. This is a drama-free scope, and I want to keep it that way. Anyway, I know Alexis is planning on going to her son's baccalaureate. What's everybody else planning on doing tonight? What are you planning on having for supper? Have you got your got your uh, night meal already planned out? Of course, this is my meal. This one I have this up. I'll, I'll be full after this, but... What are you planning on having? Leftovers? Um, or something that you found that you want to make? Um, whatever, because I know my daughter makes a lot in the quick cooker. I don't know if she's got anything in there right now, but uh, um, they, she's been out. <clears throat> yeah, I think he, I think so, Alexis, but I think he, he realizes now after you messaged him that he's not, he was not funny at all because I told him it was inappropriate. That was very inappropriate. You know, because I knew you didn't say any such thing as that. And it was very, very upsetting for him to talk like that. <coughs> oh, yep, yeah, because you haven't got much time, have you, Alexis? Let me get some water. Oh, I got some right here. You haven't got much time because you have a baccalaureate. Oh, chili dogs. Cool, sweetheart. That's good. My daughter loves making chili dogs. My grandsons love those. So, and just keep... Just keep praying for my daughter or for my son-in-law that he finds a good paying job because jobs are so hard to find nowadays and he's going to temp agencies and he's trying to trying to get something as close to now they had one available for him that would have been good pay but the problem of it was is 26 miles for her to drive one way and she said it was just a little bit too far to drive one way because she she has to make more than that, that trek every day, she'd have to be 52 miles in the morning and 52 miles in the afternoon. I'll put 100 miles on the car. She doesn't really want to do that. So uh, she, she's not going to, um, because she has to go take him and then pick him up. So she said, that's a little too far. So if she can get something closer, we'll pray that she can get something, he can get something really close. Um, yeah, you drive, yeah, you drive 23, but you're only doing it twice, Alexis. You're only doing it once there and once back. Ah. Uh. Well, see, my daughter, she'd have to drive there, take him to work, drive back home. Then when she picks him up, she's got to drive back again to pick him up and then come back home. So that's something she's putting over 100 miles a day on the car. That's where it's, it's bad for her because she's doing it 
She's doing it twice every day. You're doing it once, Alex, there and once back. So you're not, you're only once for you. Uh, oh, good. Good. I'm glad they found something. Oh, wow. Yeah, 17 miles or so. Well, that's still a little much, but it's a little better than the other one was. Um, well, that's true. He doesn't know how to drive, though. That's the thing. He, he hasn't learned how to drive. So he could probably carpool, but there isn't anybody in his trailer park that would probably work there. That would be an idea, though, if he could go with somebody that, that uh, would work there if he knew. But it'll work out. I just know it will. He'll find something. Um, it's real hard to have to 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 have to, uh, try to watch your spending because you haven't got money coming in, you know. Um, he's got unemployment coming in, will be, will be coming in, and she works three days a week taking care of her sister-in-law, who is in here right now, or at least she was, <clears throat> takes care of her for three hours a day or so. So she, that does help there. Uh, wow, 100 miles. Whoa. Yeah, boy, talk about <laughs> putting miles on your car. You really would put a lot of miles on your car. Oh, you are? Yes. Okay, Tammy. I see you. Um, you put a lot of miles on your car. Oh, man, my goodness. Oh, um, uh, he never, <laughs> hi, good to see you. Well, Alexis, he never learned how to drive. He never learned how to drive when he was living at home, and he hasn't learned how to drive this whole time. He's in his 40s and never learned how to drive. <laughs> so she, since he's never learned, you know, she just goes ahead and takes him. You know, she's the chauffeur. She takes the kids, you know, Picks the kids up at school whenever she has to. Most of the time, they take the bus home to school. They're going to summer school pretty soon, probably in June. They'll be going to summer school for about a month, so she won't have to take them in. They'll pick the, they'll drive, they'll take the bus to school and take the bus home, because they're in Missouri. <clears throat> they have summer school, and she sends them to summer school so they can retain everything that they've learned. Uh, no. That's true. No, my daughter right now, she cannot afford another car. Huh. She's paying. She's got to make a car payment on the one she's got. And she's... <clears throat> oh, I think this is a... Oh. That's a... That, that's good. Yeah. It is. I had to... I am sorry. I had to mute that guy. <laughs> says what size do you like I, I know what he's in here for and I'm, I'm not going to tolerate that 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 was uncalled for anyway um I hope that he gets a job because trying to make it in this world without having a job is difficult because everything goes up you go to the store you know and you you know the prices of stuff you go back the next time maybe a week or so later and the prices are up and you're saying what gives here but when when the uh, the shipping part goes up, then they pass that cost on to us, and you know that's so sad. But it is what it is. So you get they got to compensate for all the high costs. I do go to Walmart because I find it cheaper. However, there are there are other stores. I know Whole Foods and Trader Joe's are pretty expensive. I probably would go broke shopping there. That's why I don't go there. I'm afraid to even start. <laughs> because I kind of don't know. Probably wouldn't have anything left in my account. <laughs> so, you know, uh, you got to be so careful with your finances nowadays. I'm trying to, uh, got 12 minutes to go in here. I'm trying to limit my spending too, but that is so hard to do. Uh, yeah, you're right. They'll go one way or the other. They're either going to go up or they're going to go down. And you have to deal with it. The only time I like to buy anything, uh, pretty much if something that I see is on clearance, I'll buy stuff on clearance or something that's been discontinued. You can get it a good price. But um, other than that, um, it's, you know, I have to deal with it. If, if the price goes up, you got to pay it. They got to pass it on to the consumer. You know, don't like that to happen, but that's the way it is. Or I'll hate it when I go to the store. And I know where everything is at. Then you go back the next week and you can't find it. They've, they've moved everything. I know they did at my Walmart here. They started moving everything. And until, unless you know where everything's at. Of course, I got the app on my phone so I can kind of uh, find where everything's at. Because you, you can tap on the aisle and it'll bring that aisle up on the store. And it tells you exactly what part of the store it's in. So that makes it nice too. But when they start, you know, 
uh, remodeling the store and start putting it and putting things in places that you didn't realize they were. Uh, do, uh, that's true. That's true, Alexis. Yeah, you don't buy anything you don't actually need. Now, I did run out of carob powder yesterday, down to very, very little. So I went and bought some from Amazon yesterday. Um, it should be coming tomorrow because I use carob powder a lot. And I, I try, to, try to keep it on hand. I buy two, three cans at once, which three cans are coming because it was, a, it was a deal, a pack of three. So I thought, well, I'll just buy three cans and that will last me quite a while and I won't be buying it again. But I'm, I'm like you, Alexis. I try not to buy anything I need. You know, or I don't need only what I need uh, because it's very easy to do that. Buy things that you don't really need and then they're sitting around and and then you're trying to figure out what to do. You know, but I do keep like, like tomato sauce and the pasta sauce and stuff on hand because I make enough stuff with that that I don't have to always go out and buy it. So I try to keep that. Um, care is carob, C-A-R-O-B, carob. It's, it's a, it's a so chocolate substitute is what it is. It's all natural. It's non-GMO, it's non-dairy, non-vegan, or, or it's vegan, and it's, um, and it's dairy-free, it's carob powder. It's from Chatfields, I get it off of Amazon. Um, it's made in, I guess it's in the Mediterranean is where they have it, it's a, a tree. Um, oh, that's okay, Cheryl, I understand that. I get them on here sometimes when I'm periscoping, I can't fall a phone call will come through and I have to delete it. Then it makes it bl that black on your end. It invariably happens a lot. That's okay, Cheryl. I understand that. No problem. I Don't worry about it. But you know, the cost of everything going higher and higher and higher, I hate it. But then what can you do about it? you got to deal with it. It's the signs of the times. You know, things go up and they go down. You know, like Alexa said, they're going to go one way or the other. They're either going to go up or they're going to go down. I wish they'd go down more than go up, but that's the way... <laughs> Oh, you got that right. It's too easy to overspend. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Exactly. You're exactly right. It's very easy to overspend. So i got to be very, very careful. I've been doing a little bit better lately. Try not to overspend. Not to buy anything that I don't need. Um, you're, <laughs> I know, Alexis. Rarely, you're right. It rarely does anything go down. It always goes up the other way. That's unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. It goes up when you don't, whether you want it to or not. You know, you got to deal with it. Like I said, they, I go there one time and, the, and I see the price, and then I, the next time I go up to go there, it's been raised. Well, if they raise the price too much, you know what I tell myself? I guess I don't need that anymore then. You know, because it's going to get to the point where it's going to get too high, and you're just going to tell yourself, I don't need that, and I don't want it either, and I'm not going to eat it anymore. Uh, yeah, that's true. I need to do that, Alexis. I really don't make a grocery list. Basically, what I do is I go down every aisle to see if there's something that I need down there. Now, I could go down every aisle, but I don't buy something from every aisle by any stretch of the imagination because a lot of the aisles, there isn't anything there that I need. Um, that's true. Uh, use coupons on stuff. Yeah, that's that's. you're right, Alexis, coupons. Have you ever watched that show, Extreme Couponing? These people that have extreme couponing, they have like a basement in their house. And they'll have a, a one room in their house where they set up for all their stuff that they buy for coupons. You know, uh, that's true. You don't buy anything that's absolutely necessary. That's true. But these ones that are extreme couponing, they're buying all kinds of stuff. Stuff that they probably don't even use, don't even need. Like maybe baby wash or 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 baby wipes or baby powder or something and don't have any kids or anything and they buy all kinds of stuff just to be buying um <laughs> i know what you mean alexis i used to watch that too and what amazed me is they could buy so an awful lot for such a little bit of money you know but you got to have all the coupons and everything for it and you see them cutting out those coupons that would actually drive me crazy to have to Match the coupon up with the item, you know, and then you got to buy one, get one free and all this and that. I would literally go crazy. I don't know how they do it. And it's basically the ones that got large families, you know, they got a husband and there's a husband and a wife and a few children. And that's the ones that do it. But like I said, they'll have a, a, a room in the basement of their house that they, they put all their extreme couponing stuff in. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you're right. It is. Uh Okay, okay, thank you for coming in and take care, Cheryl. Bye bye. Um, it is, that would be a full time job. Um, 
Oh, that's true too. Yeah, they can buy for neighbors. That's one good thing that'd be good for us, buy as for for neighbors. Um, oh, I know. I have I watched a YouTube video on that one day where somebody was was outside Walmart. He was saying, "Look at this good stuff they were throwing away, like milk, throwing cheese away, stuff that wasn't even expired. They were throwing away." And I'm shaking my head, and I'm thinking. What gives? Why are they throwing this stuff away? And they won't let anybody buy it. They won't let the employees buy it or anybody else for that matter. Why throw good stuff away? It makes no sense. It's a waste to throw out food that, that's not even expired. I can see throwing out food that's past the expiration date. You wouldn't want to eat that. I understand that. But if it hasn't met the expiration date yet, and it's got a few months to go or a while to go, why throw it out? And yet I saw this... This poor guy, he says, that's what's wrong in this United States. This was someplace in Ohio they had done this. He says, that's what's wrong with this country. We throw out food all the time. And I just baskets and baskets and baskets of food sitting out in the back of their store. I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, what is the world coming to? And they're so crazy to throw that stuff up. And 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 I don't eat ham, but, they, you know, those uh, hams, canned ham, threw out a whole bunch of those. Threw out a whole bunch of cheese. We're throwing out meat that was not even expired. Milk that was not expired. It was just crazy to see all that good food going to waste. I don't understand it. But you know that food can be given to like food pantries to help feed the homeless instead of throwing it away. That's what they could do with it. Because there are food pantries out there yet that, that give to the homeless. Um, I know it's unbelievable. Oh, oh I, isn't that sad? Oh, and nothing like that should go in the landfill. Like I said, it should be given to the pe people that cannot afford to buy groceries. You know, the, the homeless. Um, oh, Kaylee does it all the time. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's a shame, Tammy, that she does that all the time. It's a waste to throw out food like that. I heard that she, that she cooks an overabundance amount, and then you're wasting it. Uh, oh, great. Oh, well, just start out slow. You can find something. Just go on Pinterest. You'll find vegan stuff. And there, if there's anything on there that you want, just, you know, try to make it. Because I love, that's where I get all my recipes from. That's where I got this from. It's got three minutes to go, and then I can quick release it. Um, but I get most of my um, stuff from Pinterest because there's an unlimited amount of recipes on there. I mean, there's anything on there you want to you wanna, um, get. I started with Pinterest. A long, long time ago because I was trying to find crochet patterns for crocheting baby clothes and stuff for uh, mothers that are new, for newborns. And that's how I got started on Pinterest. And now I look for food all the time. So it's, it's you can find anything on Pinterest that you want. There's Yumly. There's AllRecipes.com. There's quite a few places that have food, uh, have recipes for different uh, vegan recipes. You can put vegan easy recipes or Instapot ones or whatever you want. Uh, I'm doing this in the quick cooker today because <clears throat> I haven't used it in a week or so. I like to use it at least once a week. And we're on the cool side today, and I wanted to do this today um, and show you that you can make stuff in the in the, in the quick cooker. Um, it's real simple to use. It's not hard to use. I know a lot of people complain about the quick cooker that it doesn't come to pressure for them, and I'm wondering what goes on that they can't put they can't it won't come to pressure. But I think it's because they're they're doing something wrong. They're not. Um, lining up the clouds like they're supposed to, or the seal was bad. Maybe the seal was bad. That could be one of two things right there. I have no idea. But I've never had problems with this coming to pressure. It always comes to pressure. And I make sure that the clouds are lined up, which they are, which they had to be for it to come to pressure. The seal is is uh, all the way around in the track. And that could be another thing, too, that the seal may not be in the track the way it's supposed to be. They didn't push it down. Because that's real easy to do. You put it in there, and if you don't push it all the way down and get it all the way down to the bottom, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pop up, and then you're going to have a problem, and it's not going to seal. You know, um, I have almost forgot to put the seal in, but basically what I do with my quick cooker when I store it, I store it with the lid upside down. So when I go to put the lid on, I'll see that if the seal's in there or not, so I won't forget to put it in. Um, I, fr I first started... started um, uh, storing it with the lid sitting on it. And I thought, no, I'm going to turn it upside down because I've seen people say, turn it upside down. That way you'll know if the seal's in there or not. 
So you cut it because you got to wash it out anyway. You know, and take the seal and wash it out. So that way, I don't forget the seal. Because I know Alexis did forget the seal one time in hers. If the people hadn't have told her in there that she forgot the seal, she'd have gone the whole periscope and wondered why it didn't uh, pressurize on her. That's possible too. Somebody can forget the seal and it won't come to pressure. So, but don't be afraid of it. Okay, there it's done. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna cancel this and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around so it doesn't get on my cupboards. And I'm going to let the let the steam out. You can see there's quite a bit of steam. And you have to stand back from it. You don't want to get your face up in it or get your hand up in it because you'll get burnt. See, I, you don't see me touching it or anything. Oh, I get smells so good. Wow, I can smell it. <laughs> there, see, Alexa said it's half price for hosting a show this month. You can't go wrong. I got mine for $112 back in January. I waited until I could get it 60% off. Um... 60% off. Oh, that, you, there, there you go, Alexis. About $109, $112, something like that. I got mine for $112 back in January. I got 60% off. There's Crunchy Lemon Drop. Got it for 60% off. I waited until I hosted a show where I could get it for 60% off. Because that's what I wanted to do. Because that was the only way I was going to get this. Because $285 is expensive for some people to spend. And I thought, well, I'm not going to spend that if I can get it for 60% off. 114 with accessories. That's the one I have. I don't suggest getting the other one. I think that's 240. Isn't that isn't that in 240? And that's without the accessories. Um, that's just the quick cooker by itself. You'd have to buy the accessories anyway if you bought that one. So get get the one for 285 and 60% off because you get your two racks, your steel rack plus your your uh, cradle, and then you get your spring form pan and your ceramic pot. You get all that with a quick cooker because the ceramic pot and your steel form pan or spring form pan is what you use to make your desserts in. Like spring form you use for cakes, you know, cheesecake or whatever. And the, and the ceramic pot you can put potatoes in, you know, cook them or whatever. Um, yeah, I have. Yeah, I use the ceramic bowl. Yeah, I have. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to set this back. I'm going to unplug this. And I'm going to set this back. And I'm going to get out my, get this out. And then I'm going to put my, get my microwave grips and I'll get that out and I'll let you see what this looks like. Okay, so. Let me go get my microwave grip so I can get that out. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Look at this. Oh, and I'm going to put, um, it calls for, and I'm not going to measure it out. I'll just put some in here. It calls for four cups of baby spinach. But I'm going to put that in here and then stir it around in here. Maybe I could measure it out. Let's get my readable one out and measure it out. And that way I won't, I won't make a mistake with it put too much. And I'll just pack it down in here. This is baby spinach. I like buying this. was been washed and everything. This is similar, can be similar to the to the red lentil spinach soup. Well, this did not change color. Your your red lentils change color. This did not change color. This is uh these are green. I think these are probably have a different flavor over the over the brown. Okay, and I'm gonna put this in here now. Now I'm gonna stir this in here. My spoon, okay. All right. Wow. Wow. That spinach just sets it right off. Look at that. Look, 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 look. Doesn't that look good? Look at that. Wow. And this is my lunch. Doesn't that look good? Look at that. Wow. And this is the soup. Don't have to thicken this or anything. There. Now. I'll hold it up. Now you can see. See, look at that. The spinach kind of sets it right off. Gives it some color. 
it really gives it the color. It, and you know those it's going to wilt in here because it's it's uh hi linda good to see you you just you're going to have to watch watch how i made this um but this all right this is my red lentil red lentil uh or no, green lentil uh soup uh, linda this is made with green lentils i just put the spinach in at the very last it looks really really good this is going to be this is going to be my lunch and the and the green lentils don't oh Okay, I'll do just that. Somebody told me to taste it. Let me go get a spoon and I will. Let me, put this up here. Let me go get a spoon. good it's very very good anything with lentils is good lentils is a is a kind of a staple in my house i love lentils and the spinach it's in this soup and it's already wilting it's already wilting isn't that isn't that something look it's already wilting all it has to do is get a little heat to it and it's wilted <laughs> isn't that something look how it wilted see and you can see the carrots in there. You can see the tomatoes. This is a real good flavor soup. A real good flavor. And I'm going to post it up on my vegan Facebook page. Never had any. This is the first time I've had any green lentil soup, Linda. I did have um, the red lentil spinach soup that, that uh, is in the new um, the new book from Quick Cook from the Quick Cooker. I, I made that on here one day. Um, it's the it's the new catalog. Yeah, it's in here. It's in this one. The red lentil spinach soup. I made that one time in here. And it was absolutely delicious. I mean, it was so good. I could not believe how good it really was. I think it's in this one or it's in the other one. It might be in the other one. But anyway, it was so good. Um, I think it's in the original one. I think it's in this one that it come with. Um, strawberry cheesecake. Uh, yeah, here it's in this one. It's in it's in this the cooking guide that come with it. It's the red, but the red lentils, they turn um, the red lentils turn turn um, yellow, but the green lentils you can see did not turn turn any any color at all. Um, actually, I think the green lentils are more are prettier than your brown. Your brown is kind of you know, uh, but I noticed that the red and the green are smaller than your brown. The brown lentils seem to be bigger. Look at how, how this how nice this looks. Look at that. How nice that looks. And look at the spinach. It all wilted. Um, welcome to those coming in. Here's my my lentil spinach my lentil soup. And added the spinach afterwards. This is a green lentil soup. Um, I love I love lentils. Like I said, there's a staple in my house. I buy lentils whenever I can because they're they're a uh, uh, grain, I guess, or a legume, and they're they're legumes, I guess, and, and uh, they they cook very fast on the stove, not so much, but in the you know in your quick cooker or pressure cooker, they cook um, a lot quicker. So I like to I'm going to start doing lentils in here because it'll be a lot quicker. But they look that looks oh that is so appealing, isn't it? Look at that, I mean, very good. Um, if you haven't if if you can't find green lentils, you could probably, like I said, find them on Amazon. We have a place here um, called Fred Myers, and it was bought out by Kroger. Kroger bought them out, and they have them there. So I've got all three of them. I've got the brown, the red, and the green. Um, and so this is the first time I've ever used the green lentils for my uh, lentil soup like this. I used to eat lentil soup when I first got married, um, and we had lentils. And my kids loved lentils. Well, actually, I mean, maybe not lentil soup, just cooked lentils on the stove and didn't put it into a soup. So we used to eat a lot of lentils. But... I, I've eaten more lentils now since I've been, been been doing this than I ever did before. It is so, I mean, look at that. So appealing, isn't it? It's really a nice looking soup. Um, very easy to make. And if you want to know what's in here, I'm going to tell you right now. Um, it has one large onion chopped, um, one medium carrot peeled and chopped, two stalks of celery chopped, um, 
three cloves of garlic minced, and of course I've never known, buddy knows I put that through my garlic press. Um, a cup and a half of green lentils, uh, one 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes, which I almost forgot, but I have to remember those just before I, I start it, before it ever come to pressure. Two teaspoons of thyme, it's supposed to be fresh thyme. I didn't have fresh thyme, so I just used the uh, um, leaves in the bottle. And um, one teaspoon of Italian seasoning. It's hot for kosher salt, but I use sea salt. Um, Freshly ground black pepper. Why well, I kind of omitted that too. Uh, four cups of low sodium chicken or vegetable broth. Now I'm not sure if this is low sodium or not, but it takes a whole box. Um, four cups of the baby spinach, and then you can put grated parmesan on ser to serve it with grated parmesan if you want to um, when, you, when you serve it on, in a bowl. But there he be. Doesn't that look good? Look at that. Let me in fact, I, in fact, I'm going to dish up a bowl of it. And uh, we will, and I can sit this this out and put this back in the thing. Uh, let me go get. Oh, let's see my ladle. I've got a ladle here somewhere. I got. Oh, I think I know. I bought a new one, and I'll go get it. That's not it. That's not it. That's my spaghetti server. I got my ladle in here somewhere. Um, got uh, got my ladle in here somewhere. I left it here. Uh, maybe it's up here. Um, I have a ladle, but I don't know where I put it. Uh, I'm disorganized, as you can tell. I'm very disorganized. I don't know where I put it right now. Um, but I'm going to try to uh, dish this up into, into my, into my, as best I can. Now that works. Now put this back back in the thing and I'm going to sit then I will take my take this away so that you can see what it says down here there we go now I'll put this and I'll fix it so you can see it I'm sorry if you can't see it but let me, let me fix it that you can see that okay all right let me put this down a little bit so you can see it there we go now you can see it there now you can see what it looks like. Doesn't it look pretty? Look at that. Looks very pretty. You can see the spinach is all wilted. It tastes very, very good. Very peeling. Very, very tasty. I'll taste it again. I'm going to take it and take another one. I'm going to put this up on my Facebook page, but I'll try it a little bit more. Mm. Wow. It is, it is divine. It is divine. Tastes just as good as that red lentil spinach soup did. This is really, really good. I would suggest people try this. Oh, it is. Look at it. This is just awesome. It's amazing. It looks, it looked good. I thought, well, I'm going to give it a try. And it does. It tastes really good. Um, I recommend it. Uh, you know, and, I'm, and try, try our recipes on, on my vegan Facebook page. Um, Erlene posts a lot there, which I need to try. She did one the other day I haven't tried yet, and I want to try. Her her meatloaf, I'm going to do that when we have a potluck. Um, because uh, for me, that'd be a little too much, but it would probably be good for potluck. Um, she's also got a tofu lasagna I want to try. She said it was okay, but she didn't really like it real well. But I'm going to try it anyway and see how I like it. You know, <laughs> never know, never, never know. But I'm going to have to get off of here in a little bit because I'm going to have to uh, eat this for lunch because I, I don't want to get too late. But I'm gonna hope make this my make this my final shot, so that you can um, see what it looks like. And I hope that your day your day goes blessed. And I'll come back in tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'll make tomorrow. Um, I'll figure out something. I'll I'll find something to make. I'm not sure what it, what it'll be. But I hope your day's a blessed one. And until we meet again, take care. God bye. God bless and bye bye.